This is my intro. This is my intro. Ugh. What's up you guys? It's Alexa and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another haul. I'm going to be showing you guys clothes from the company Gamas or Gamas, one of those. I tried to pick items that were pretty trendy right now. So things that you would see on Instagram or just social media in general. And I also picked out about like $500 worth of clothes. So I'm not going to spend too much time on one particular item. I'm just going to briefly talk about it and show you guys. If you guys are new to this channel and want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe down below and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on the next time that I post. Also, this isn't going to be a first impressions haul because there are just so many items and that video would have taken forever to do. So yeah, I'm just rambling. Let's jump right into this haul. Okay, so the first item is this mesh top. You guys already know me. I live for my mesh tops. I pretty much have like 100 mesh tops. Not really, but it's a really high number. This one's a little different because it's like cropped so you could wear like a crop top underneath or like a bralette or something. It shows more of like what you're wearing underneath which I like. I got this in a small and this was only nine dollars. Next we have this nude dress. It's a ruched dress. This actually fit really really well. I got this one in a size small and it was only fifteen dollars. A little trick that I like to do is I like to pull and concentrate a lot of the ruching around my hip area that way it could kind of like give that illusion that my waist is smaller that my hips are bigger and give me that wannabe hourglass shape. It's a nice little dress for only $15, so I recommend this one. I recommend a lot of things, just saying. Okay, so we have these gray suede pants with lace-up detail in the front. I wanted to like these so badly just because I really like the lace-up detail and I think it's really, really cool. However, these pants honestly felt like they would be a size medium. I actually clipped them on the back and I got these in a size small and these were $19. So I would say if you do go for these these pants to go a size smaller. These look cool, but they just did not fit me. The quality of the suede is really nice though. Next, I'm going to show you guys this orange crop jacket. This one I got in a size small and this was $19. Besides the fact that you kind of look like a jail inmate, but it's okay. I, I still like it a lot. And I like that you could wear it as a jacket open or you could button it up and um, pull the drawstrings and wear it as a top. It's a mix between mustard yellow and like an orange like a mustard orange, if that's even a color. But yeah, I like this one a lot. Next up, we have these boyfriend jeans. I was actually really skeptical about these. Just in general, whenever I get jeans from a website and have it try them on, they just never fit me. And surprisingly, these actually fit really, really well. I'm so surprised. Unif had a pair of jeans like these probably, oh my God, like four years ago that I was really in love with and I never ended up getting them. So when I saw these, I was like, mm, I might as well just try them. I got these in a small and these were $15. I just wish maybe they were like lighter blue. I'm not much of a true blue type of gal. I'm more of like white wash. So next, I'm going to show you guys this ribbed top that I got. I just really like this a lot because it's a cute ribbed crop top and it has little flutter sleeves that I like. Yeah, it's just a good basic to just throw on. This is a small and it was only $10. <sighs> okay, so we have these patent dresses. Where do I start? I like them. I really, really wanted them to fit, but they fit like a medium and I got these in a small. So if you guys do go for these, go a size down because they are pretty big. The good thing is, is that because I know how to sew, I'm going to rework these and make them fit to my body type. I liked that it was like shiny patent, kind of like super extra and that it was a tube top and it was a bodycon dress. As you guys can tell, I really liked them. So I got them in two colors. I got the black one and the red one. They both fit the same. Um, but I mean, they were only $15, so it's kind of like, hmm. If they had an extra small, I feel like I would be able to fit them. I know this one kind of looks like a trash bag, but I kind of like that look. I'm trying to make trash fashion, okay. But if you feel like you could fit them, do $15 for a dress, I would go for it. Next up, we have this suede studded skirt. This is a small and it was $14. For $14, it's actually made pretty well, I must say. I already know going into these type of hauls that majority, probably 99% of the bottoms never fit me because I'm usually an extra small in those. So I already knew that this one was gonna be a little big, but I just really like the quality of it and I just like the studs. And I also paired it with this off the shoulder ribbed crop top. I've seen this a lot on Instagram and I think it's just a really cool basic to throw on and the fact that it's long sleeves and you could wear it like at night. I mean, your shoulders will still be kind of cold, but it's okay. And to make it kind of like a coordinated set, I paired it with this jacket. It's a mustard corduroy jacket. It's not the same color exactly, but it's pretty similar. It's just kind of like maybe a shade or two off. I wanted a two-piece set, couldn't find one, so I made my own. And this one I got in the medium and this was $22. All right, so for this hoodie, when I saw it on the website, I was like, oh my gosh, yes, they have Hey Arnold on the sleeves. Open the package, no Arnold, 
Jess Helga. No! I mean, Helga's cool, like, but it's Hey Arnold. It was supposed to be like one Arnold and then one Helga, but then I ended up getting two Helgas, which it's whatever. I mean, Helga's my girl. She cool or whatever. Again, I like my things oversized, so I got this in a medium and this was $15. But yeah, even though it didn't have an Arnold on it, I still really like it because it has like 90s kid right here. But yeah, if you guys don't know what Hey Arnold is, then I just totally dated myself. Next up, we have this two-piece velvet set. I've always wanted a set or a jumpsuit or something that was just full on velvet because I feel like velvet is just so comfy. So when I saw this, I was like, yes, I have to get it. And when I tried it on, I was very surprised. The shorts were actually high-waisted. A lot of the shorts are usually just regular, but these ones actually came high-waisted and it was so cozy. I did not want to take it off. Like it was just so nice and luxurious feeling. I could literally lounge in this set all day. So if you guys have been subscribed to my channel, for a while you guys know that I live for 90s Versace that is just like my overall life aesthetic so whenever I see 90s Versace or if I see something similar or like has kind of like that same design or vibe I'm always so drawn to it and I always need to have it so look what I found I found this in the men's section and I know not all of my rose buds are girls so I figured why not pick something from the men's section this is a size large and this was $16 it's not like that cottony type of sweatshirt material it's synthetic so it's nice and soft and smooth which actually I feel like it makes the print look that much more luxurious even though it's like a $16 sweatshirt whatever I actually like the back more than the front only because like the front has those white stripes which I could do without honestly so this yellow bell sleeve I really thought it was just gonna be like a whatever top and I, it wouldn't be like one of my favorites but I have been wearing this thing so much ever since I opened it. I like that the sleeves bell out so much and it's just a nice fuzzy material. I don't even know what it is, but it's nice and soft. It's kind of like faux cashmere in a way. I have been digging yellow a lot recently. If you guys can't tell, this whole haul is pretty much yellow, but I just really like this color. It makes me look darker, but who cares? I like it anyways. This top is in a small and it is only $15. So I don't know if they have more colors, but if they do, then I'm definitely gonna get more colors because I really like this top. So next we have this pink velvet dress that I definitely had high hopes for. This I got in a size small and it ended up fitting like a medium large I want to say because it's supposed to be bodycon. I was swimming in this thing. It was only nine dollars so I mean you can't really expect too too much I guess. I did clip it in the back as you guys can see. It looked really cool on the website and I like pink and I like velvet so unfortunately this did not fit me. You know, if you have big boobs and big butt and think you could fit this, then go for it. It's only $9. All right. So I love fur. Faux fur, of course. You guys know me. I was not a fan when I first opened it. It did not look appealing. But after I wore it and after I kind of like zhuzhed up the... It looked really, really good. I just really love it. It's like one of my new favorite faux furs. I got this one in a small and surprisingly, it was only $20. I mean, a $20 fur coat, don't ask too much from it because it definitely does look faux but it's nice and like fluffy and just like wispy and stuff like that and when i wore it out i actually got a lot of compliments on it so i'm really happy and it was only 20 dollars, so i definitely recommend this one. Oh my gosh these satin pants i live for these these are like everything normally i wouldn't go for pants like these but the photo on the website just really sold it to me i really liked how they styled it you can make it super edgy and a little casual but then you could also dress it up really really nicely and like wear it to a wedding or something so i'm really really happy about these um, this size is a small and it was only $17. Okay, so time for some jewelry. The first thing I got is this Mary Pendant necklace and I like it a lot because one, it's only $3. You can't go wrong with a $3. <laughs> That was such a mess. Yeah, it's $3. But what I like about this one is that it's mini, so it's a lot smaller and the necklace is kind of like a choker. I also got two sets of puffy earrings and I picked these out because a lot of my earrings that I have are pretty edgy and I feel like for photo shoots or just styling in general, I do need some earrings that are pretty girly and flirty. So I picked these two out. This nude one was $2 and the pink one was $4. They're so cute. They're like little puffy thingies. I don't know. <laughs> Next up, I have these gold cross dangly earrings. I don't even know what to call them, but they're really cool. I like them because they had that like geometric abstract design to them. I have been digging dangly earrings. I don't know if it's because of 
BTS and they wear a lot of dangly earrings. Who knows? But anyways, these were $4. So I've always wanted tassel earrings. I never got the chance to get any, but I really wanted ones that were as big as like the rope ends on your curtains. I wanted it like that big. I found these and these are like a cute little nutmeg brown color. I also wanted a neutral color because I always see like those Instagram babes wearing these like on vacation in the Bahamas or on the beach and stuff and I'm like yeah I kind of want to do that that's mainly like why I got these earrings to be honest I'm just kidding and these were four dollars I think all their earrings might be around that price now that I'm looking at it they kind of look like brooms at the end of my ears but whatever who cares I like them and the last set of earrings I got were these vintage inspired cross earrings whenever I see gold vintage inspired earrings I'm always so drawn to them so these ones I definitely wanted because one they had crosses on them and they had little clear gems and a big black gem with antique gold so it definitely gives it that vintage vibe and it always just reminds me of Dolce & Gabbana's collection which is probably one of my favorite collections. These are a little bit more, these were $6. Okay so let's talk about these rings real quick. I don't, honestly don't know why I picked them. I think because I liked specific rings from the set. This set was only $3. They are one size fits all so that's the downside about these. I should really learn my lesson and not get ring sets because they're just always big. Every haul I do, I think I always get sunnies. I love these. I'm such a sucker for pink lens sunglasses. I don't know why. I just always am. I got these pink lens ones. Um, they were kind of retro and mod in a way, which I liked. And you know the little um, nose stopper thing? These ones have pearls on them. These were $8. <sighs> Okay, oh my gosh. These sunnies are my absolute favorite. So I have a set of favorite sunglasses that are from Gold Soul, but I think these sunglasses have just knocked those sunnies out of the number one slot. Every inch of the metal is gold. Even down to the little nose stopper part, that part is gold too. If I didn't know these were $8 glasses, I would probably assume they were like $30, $40 glasses. That's like sometimes cheaper than what you would find in downtown LA, so. Okay, so we're moving on to shoes now. I have used these shoes quite often already. These are my white sneakers. If you guys have watched my BTS lookbook video, these were the sneakers that I wore in J-Hope's outfit. I kind of like the fact that they aren't branded like Nike. That way it's just kind of like BAM! White sneakers. Who cares what they are, who they're from. These were $25. I got these in a size 38. I'm a size 7. These fit perfectly. Okay, so the other pair of shoes that I got were these knitted thigh-high nude boots. And I wanted to like these so bad. I'm so, so sad. They're like full-on thigh-high socks, but they're nude. So they're really, really cozy. Unfortunately, they did not fit me. I'm a size 7. I got these in a size 38, which should be a size 7. But these honestly fit like they were a size 10. It sucks because I threw away the box. So I don't know if maybe I just ordered the wrong size or the wrong size got shipped to me. Or maybe this is actually their size 38. But if this is their actual size 38, I definitely definitely suggest going a few sizes down. They were only $26 and they're so cozy. I'm kind of like a weird tan so it's really hard to find like a good nude that doesn't look weird on you if that makes any sense. <laughs> if they still have them maybe like in a size smaller I am going to get them because I really like these a lot. Okay so moving on we have two more pieces. I also picked up this nude beret which I liked a lot because it had this attachment thing. Not really a fan of like what it says work hard play hard. Like, okay. But I just like that it had a ring attached to it. And this was only $6. You can't really beat that, so. And last but not least, I also got a wig. <laughs> so I figured, you know, if they're selling wigs, then might as well try one out. I mean, this is pretty relatable to fashion anyways. This one is like a short bob with straight bangs and I liked it because now that I have long hair, sometimes I do want to go short. When I tried this on, I just felt very mod and kind of like 60s-ish. Um, also got Dora the Explorer vibes, I'm not gonna lie. There are a few things I could have done that would have made it look that much better. I'm probably going to restyle it because the bottoms are kind of curving in different directions. I also didn't wear a wig cap, so that's probably why it's not really like super flush on my head. And this was $53, which is actually a lot cheaper than a lot of the wigs that I already have. It's not bad too, the quality isn't bad for a $50 wig. So if you guys are ever curious about the wigs on the Gauntlet site, then here you go. Now you guys can see. So yeah, that concludes my haul. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up to let me know that. If you guys want to connect with me on social media, all my socials are at Dina for Rose. And I do have some DIY videos lined up for you guys. One being the DIY BTS video that a lot of you guys have been waiting and requesting for. So stay tuned for that. I think that's pretty much it for this outro. I love you guys all and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!